Welcome to Door of Mercy. I'm Gabriel Chow. For this Holy Year of Mercy, the Pope has asked each diocese to select some churches as Jubilee shrines, and their doors will become doors of mercy. By passing through the door of mercy, we find the strength to embrace God's mercy. In each episode, I will select a diocese from around the world, and talk about the jubilee shrines in that diocese. I will explain the significance of these churches, and go on a pilgrimage with you during this holy year of mercy. Today we are going to New York City, the largest city in the United States, and the financial, fashion, and culinary center of the world. The Archdiocese of New York is one of the most historic dioceses in the country. For this holy year, the Archbishop has designated five churches to be jubilee shrines. Let's visit each of these churches. The first one is the Cathedral of St. Patrick in Midtown Manhattan. In 1850, the Archbishop decided to build a new cathedral to replace the one in Lower Manhattan. Completed in 1878, this famous neo-Gothic landmark stands over 100 meters tall. It can accommodate 3,000 people, allowing major church events to take place there. An elegant bronze baldachin stands over the high altar to highlight its importance. Formerly, when archbishops who had become cardinals died, their galeros would be hung from the ceiling in their cathedrals. As St. Patrick's, you can find four of these red hats. The second Jubilee Church is Most Precious Blood Church in Little Italy, where the National Shrine of St. Gennaro is found. St. Januarius is a 3rd century bishop of Naples. Every year in September, New Yorkers celebrate the street festival of St. Gennaro for four days, keeping alive the spirit and faith of the early Italian immigrants. The church contains a relic of the holy bishop. If we travel to the north end of New York City, we can find the third Jubilee Shrine, the Shrine of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, where the body of the saint is venerated. Since her youth in Italy, she had been dreaming of doing missionary work in China. When she became a religious, she had the chance to meet the Pope and ask for permission to go on mission to China. The Holy Father told her that America was in greater need as many Europeans had immigrated there. St. Francis obeyed, and moved to New York City, enduring many hardships, and serving people in many ways with her whole life. She founded a religious order and died in 1917. When we cross to the other side of the Hudson River, we can find another Jubilee Church, the Carmelite National Shrine of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. The shrine encourages devotion to Mary and her scapula. The last Jubilee Church of the Archdiocese of New York is the Salutian National Shrine of Mary Help of Christians, founded during the Marian year of 1954. 160 acres of space provides countless places of devotion for pilgrims, including the Rosary Way. During this year of mercy, let us go to a Jubilee Shrine and pass through the door of mercy, so that we can also open our hearts to mercy. See you next time.